Animal shelters and rescues are overflowing here in Southern California and across the country. But now there's a first of its kind way to help clear those shelters. We're talking about creative pet bios to get them noticed, and it's all driven by artificial intelligence. Oh, this is so fascinating. Here to explain is the mastermind behind it, Yvonne Perez Armanderas. He <laughs> leads the team that created the program, and Jessica Lopez, executive director at the Paw Mission, a local rescue that's been using this technology. Yvonne, we're going to start with you because, as mentioned, you are the mastermind behind this. How does this AI technology work? Well, I think it was about a year ago we started looking at all these new generative AI tools that were seemingly everywhere and kind of realized like, oh, this is going to impact how a lot of us do our individual work and even some innovation ideas that we can bring to our clients. And so to get ahead of it, we held a competition at the agency, so Best AI Idea Competition Cash Prize. Mm -hmm. And the winners, uh, Matt and Kevin, came up with this idea to use AI to write pet biographies and stories to be featured on their shelter bio page. And it turns out that across the nation at every shelter, if you have a bio picture and uh, and a bio, you are likely you are more likely to be adopted than if you don't. And so there's this opportunity to use AI for good, and these APIs that exist. And we launched Rescue Rider with PetSmart and launched it for National Adoption Week in November. And PetSmart has all these different charities that they support, Correct. including where you guys are. I, I mean, how much of a game changer is this sort of thing? Yeah, this this has been huge. I mean, as far as when we talk about different programs that help. Uh, rescues and shelters our main focus is you know being efficient with our time because we have to do a lot um, and with maybe not as many people as we would like so uh, the rescue rider really helps us maintain our efficiency but also give these animals a you know a viable chance at getting adopted when there's millions of pets out there uh, you need something to help you stand out and this definitely does that it reminds me of a dating website right because you have to have your picture up there you need to have a profile you need you want people to know who you are so that's what the this technology does it we're gonna you're gonna help us walk us through it to show our viewers how this actually works with a form on the screen yes you just go to rescuerider.ai it's available to any shelter you enter the pet name uh, the gender the type of pet it could be a dog cat uh, turtle and uh, age and then you start just checking a few boxes on traits shy curious playful <laughs> and then maybe enter one yeah. custom element and you picked a pet name here yes which is my name yes. Alex right yes okay so <laughs> this is your bio <laughs> very much look like a dog here right <laughs> so this is this is if I were a dog I guess says I'm Alex the dog with inquisitive mind ever wonder how I end up here well it's a funny story I was chasing a lead I mean a squirrel you see <laughs> and there's more of it it ends with if you're looking for a companion who's always ready to talk about the next story I'm your dog so that's amazing so that's something that's just uh, comes, comes instantaneous up like that, right? it never gets tired it can write these 24 7 and in terms of helping your organization I mean 60 you could do as many as 60 in one hour whereas if, yes. if it were, that was a human writing this that would take a long time yeah minutes per per easily but yeah for our large adoption event it I was able to do about a little bit over 60 um, in under an hour so it was it was great it was super efficient a lot of tabs but I, I made it work <laughs> <laughs> you get that. And, and the cost of this you sort of mentioned this the cost is absolutely free yeah. Anyone that can go to the URL can start creating uh, these bios. And one of the reasons, if I'm not mistaken, behind it is some of these pets that are maybe older and that are harder to adopt, this really does increase their chances of finding a home, right, Jessica? Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. You know, um, it's, <clears throat> it's sad to know, but a lot of senior pets sometimes have a little bit harder time. It's a little bit of a competition sometimes, and these bios are so fun and whimsical, it really helps them kind of put their best foot forward. Well, Deutsche LA is full of so many creative people that <laughs> come up with things that you would never even Love think it. of as a potential problem, um, and now you're finding solutions for it. So congratulations Thank to you. you. And you. the big winner, of course, are the pets. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We love that. Maybe AI can do a little bit of good. <laughs> I think a lot of good. <laughs> right. yeah. There's one right example. hands, right? I love this. Uh, Jessica and Yvonne, thank you so much. Uh, and again, this is all free. Yes. It's yeah. at rescuewriter.org. .ai. Dot AI. Dot AI. Silly me. Yeah. Silly me. Yes, rescuewriter.ai. See, AI would never get that wrong. <laughs> he's, he's trying to replace me already. No, no, AI no, no, no. We got it. Thank we you so much for that. being here. Thank you. We'll be Thanks, right back. Thanks, guys.